Hello students and welcome back to your life skills videos. Today we will be learning on the lesson entitled as Acha Chan's Diary with a topic on respecting personal space. What do you understand by personal space? Personal space refers to the physical distance between two people in a social, family, or work environment. In other words, it is a distance from another person at which one feels comfortable when talking to or being next to that person. If someone invades or enters your personal space, they stand or lean too close to you where you are made to feel uncomfortable. Personal space can also refer to your own personal time with the freedom to do something that you want. Personal space may also refer to the things which is to do with your private life that you want to maintain it for privacy and not let anyone interfere it or invade it. Think of your personal space as the air between your body and an invisible shield or bubble which you have formed around yourself for any kind of relationship. Let us look into the story of the lesson to get a better idea of understanding this topic. On a peaceful afternoon in Trisur, Sharanya returns home from school and had a conversation with her Achacha. Achacha, I'm home. I had such a lovely day at school. That's great. Did you show your teacher the essay you wrote? Yes, she said it was good. That's wonderful. You know Daisy Achacha? Teacher scolded her because she hadn't completed the homework. Fatima said that Anu said that Daisy doesn't get time to do the homework. Daisy's mother doesn't do any work in the house. Poor Daisy has to do all the work after school. Now, now, do you know if that is actually so? No, but Anu... Sharanya saw her grandfather's expression and stopped. It is unkind to pass along rumors about someone, don't you think? How would Daisy feel if she heard this? And even if Daisy did confide in you, Anu certainly shouldn't be gossiping about it. Something shared in confidence between close friends needs to stay that way. I didn't think about that. You are right, Achacha. What were you reading? When I came in Achacha, 1968, that's a strange name for a book. That's not a book, that's one of my diaries, the one I wrote in the year 1968. Achachan had been writing a diary since his teenage years. Sharanya absentmindedly opened the diary. October 27, not so fast young lady, that's personal. Sorry, Achacha, I was just curious to know what you did that day. I can understand that, but diaries often also have a person's innermost thoughts and feelings. Hmm, so reading a person's diary without asking is like peeking into someone's secrets. Exactly, now run along and freshen up. I'll help Amama set the table for lunch. My nose tells me there is some yummy fried karimin waiting for us. Achachan smiled as Sharanya left his room. Memories of an incident from his school days came flooding by. One day after the last class of the day, Ajayan, give it back to me. You had no right to take my diary out of my bag. Take it back if you can. Abu was furious. He chased Ajayan around the classroom. Ha ha, you are never getting this bag. Ajayan tossed the diary to Lukos, who passed it to Balan. Soon I joined in too. Abu looked on helplessly as his diary flew around. He saw it being passed back to Ajayan and ran to where Ajayan was. But suddenly, he tore his shirt. Give it back. 
Now Ajayan was furious. You tore my shirt. You are so crazy as your mother. Abu froze. We all were staring at him. I read that, you know, I wish Amma was normal like. And then he stopped. Abu snatched the book from Ajayan, grabbed his bag from the bench and ran out of the class. For the next few days, Abu was irregular to school. On the days he came, he arrived late. One day, the class teacher asked Ajayan, Lukos, Balan and me to meet him. Do you know why Abu has been so irregular lately? We knew from his tone that Abu had told him everything. We opened our mouths to tell him how Abu tore Ajayan's shirt when he said, I will hear you out, but before that, put yourselves in Abu's shoes. How would you feel if your family matters were announced in class? We realize our mistake, sir. We will apologize to Abu, sir. Achachan was still lost in his thoughts. Achacha, come on, we are waiting for you. I'm hungry. Ah, yes, I'm coming. And after lunch, there is something I want you to read. Then after the lunch, Sharia was allowed to read the diary and she learned about the story. From this story, we learn three things. First is, we should not pass rumors about others or gossip about someone's personal life. When your friend shares something to you and asks you to keep it confidential, you should never share it to another friend. Just like Achacha taught Charanya, you must maintain the trust between you and your friend. Second is, we should never take away others' personal property such as diaries as it is an act of invading someone's personal space. A diary is where we write our personal thoughts and feelings which are not shown to anyone else. A giant invaded Abu's personal space by snatching away his diary. Such an act is a wrong behavior. Third, we should never share someone's personal matters or family problems in public as it can hurt the person emotionally and psychologically. It can make them feel depressed and rejected just like it did to Abu. Everyone has a right to his or her personal space and the right to keep some things private. Here are three important lessons that you should keep in mind. Number one, respect others' boundaries. Just as you get to decide what is personal for you, others do too. If someone doesn't want to tell you something, respect his or her decision and don't peek into others' mobile phones or check their messages. There are some things in everyone's life which is so personal and does not want it to be shared with anyone. Therefore, whenever your friend or a dear one does not want to tell the things that you ask for, you should respect their decision. Never insist or threaten them to open up. It is also disrespectful to spy on someone's phone and invade their phone privacy. So also, it is unethical to use someone else's email or passwords to secretly check into their private accounts. We should avoid and keep away from such unwise and unethical acts to respect others' boundaries. Number 2. Set your boundaries. If someone asks you something too, too private and you don't want to answer, politely decline to share the information. You don't have to answer just because someone has asked you. You can always set the boundaries of your private life. You have every right to politely say no to others if you think they are crossing your boundaries. Also remember that some personal matters are always best to be kept with oneself because you never know if people will disclose it and gossip around when you share it with them. Number 3. 
stay away from gossip. Don't gossip or encourage anyone else who does. Gossiping can hurt a person's feelings and make him or her feel unwanted. No one trusts a person who gossips. Gossip is an act where a person is used to sharing and leaking private information or affairs about others. It is an ill habit which can ruin his or her relationship with others. More so, it can really destroy a person's image and reputation when the person who is gossiped about is actually innocent. So always avoid becoming a gossiper or getting involved in gossips. It is best to stay away from people who are so fond of gossiping around. If you become a gossiper, be aware that you can never win anyone's trust. It is very important to respect the personal space of others as it will help us to stay safe and maintain a good relationship. Here are some general rules for respecting someone's personal space. Number one, always maintain one arm length distance when you talk to someone. Two, do not touch someone or lean on them for no good reason. Three, never lean over someone else's shoulder to read something unless invited. Four, never go through anyone else's personal belongings. Five, don't fling your arm around someone's shoulder or slap anyone on the back unless you know the person very well. 6. Don't enter a room or office without knocking first. 7. Never intervene in someone's per private matters or share it with others. 8. Never check someone's phone or diary as it is a personal property. With this, we come to the end of the lesson. Now let us go through the worksheets in the lesson. Page 13 of your text has a worksheet on gossip control. Read the statements given below. 1. Decide whether each statement is an example of gossip or not. 2. Write what you would say if someone says the following to you. In page 14, there is a worksheet on private matters. Complete both A and B. In page 15, there is a worksheet on journal. Ask your parents if they have ever faced a situation where someone gossiped with them. What did they do or say? Complete these worksheets from page 13 to 15 and keep it ready as it will be graded for your midterm exams. I hope you have learned something new and valuable from this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.